Today we'll look at doing some automations with the mainframe. We'll aim to show how with just a single click of a button, we'd be able to automate and perform several ZOS tasks using Zoe APIs and a bit of TypeScript and JavaScript. This automation will simulate some of the most common tasks a developer and tester would usually perform when coding, building, testing, and running a mainframe application program. So for the purpose of this demo, we've done a simple code change in Kex program EICI ACC to mask certain digits in the account number. So this program lists account details and balances via an API. So without any further delay, let's run our automation script. So this is what our automation script looks like. I'll talk about what it does as we are running them. So we initiate the script by clicking the ZOS automation npm script. Let's do that now. So the first thing it does is it does a compile of our type scripts. It does a hello world to indicate that our automation has started. It's doing a delete of a sequential file in the mainframe for housekeeping. It's doing a submit of our Endeavor job which would add and compile our EICI ACC program into Endeavor. It then calls an API which will trigger our Kicks API program. The next script would upload the output from that API into a PDS member on the mainframe. The next script would create a sequential file on the mainframe and upload that same output file from the API into that newly created sequential file. We'll also run a Java program on the mainframe and then download the input file and the output files from the Java program run into our local drive. And finally, we we'll do some compiling and running of some assembler program which would just do a simple hello world message. And finally, sends a message in our console saying that the automation has completed, which I see that it has right now. So by the way, we can also run scripts individually if you want to run ad hoc tasks. For example, if you want to run the Endeavor job on its own, you can just click this automation script, uh, this NPM Endeavor script. Let's clear the screen first. Let's do that now. So that would submit the Endeavor job for you. So finish with return code 4 and the output has been sent to our local drive job 09211. So if you have a look our output folder 9211 our local drive you can see that the job was completed. The reports yeah that's our program so we can run our API as well individually on its own to trigger our kicks transaction. So let's do that. There we go. So there's our change where we've masked the account number. So really this demo is trying to show the different ways that we can now interact with the mainframe using Zoe to help us automate tasks. So this will help us be more efficient by automatically submitting mainframe jobs, executing different kinds of programs like APIs, Kix, COBOL, Java, Assembler, or even Rex, create files and move them back and forth our Unix USS server, the MVS, and our local drives. And if you notice, we didn't even have to log into the green screens to, to execute all of this. 
So using this technology, performing automated system tests, integration tests, and deployments on the mainframe applications are really now within our reach. So I hope this demo helps to open us in exploring these new capabilities in our modern mainframe. This is just a quick follow-up from my earlier video about automation with ZOS using Zoe CLI and NPM scripts. So this is the documentation URL for installations, use case, and the commands. So this can be found at the docs.zoe.org website. I'll post a link on the, on the video description below together with the links from the articles that Cheslin has sent out. And really, once we've done all the prerequisites and the installation, it's really now as easy as typing in the command or syntax on your terminal or command prompt. So let's do that now. So in this example, you will execute an SQL query straight from the terminal without writing any code or program. So we are selecting some columns, country code, country name, currency code, last update user, last update timestamp from one of my test tables where the country code starts with the letter Z or Z. See that. So there you go. So as you can see, it may be a bit difficult to write SQL query statements if it gets too long. So luckily, there is a file option where we can also write several SQL statements and run them together in a single CLI command. So let's look at how to do that. So I've written a file which has two SQL statements. One is update and another is the select, the same select statement we've done earlier. So in the update, so I'm setting the country to, or let's set the country to... So we country set wt maybe uh, let's set the user to Zoe where country code is that so that's it let's go back to our terminal let's do that file option so in this option so we say execute sql from a file which is named db2 sql file it's that same file there so let's execute that now so there you go so there's our update so the country has been updated to zoe country Code has been updated to ZWD and user Zoe with the correct timestamp. So similarly, we can run our Zoe DB2 commands from our npm package.json file as well. Have a look at here. So we can include those commands and attach it to scripts and concatenate it with other scripts to execute other ZOE or ZOS tasks. So in this case, I've added the file db2 ZOE command as part of my other ZOE, uh, ZOS tasks. So let's try running that ZOS automation. So this calls an API and then calls our to SQL. So as you can see, the first update doesn't return anything because it's just an update. And then the second result would be to just get or fetch the details. So there you go. We've now interacted with IBM DB2 database table from outside ZOS without writing any code or program. So enjoy and see you again next time.